Mm, yes, it's not that kind of rotary because all is not as it seems. There's definitely a rotary engine in there, but it's a two rotor sit drivetrain. So this is essentially an electric car with an ICE engine to give it power-ups. An ICE engine that Mazda says can run on a variety of sustainable fuel. Imagine a world where the entire auto industry is charging full speed toward electric vehicles. Governments, automakers and investors are all betting big on batteries as the future of transportation. Then, out of nowhere, Mazda steps up with a bold statement. Its new rotary engine could shake the very foundation of the EV movement. This isn't just clever marketing. It's the revival of one of the most unique and innovative technologies in automotive history. The moment you mention rotary, car enthusiasts light up thinking of power, speed, and a distinct kind of engineering brilliance. Now, Mazda is aiming even higher, promising an engine that's compact, efficient, and more versatile than anyone expected. It's being positioned not just as an alternative, but as a potential rival to the dominance of electric vehicles. The big question is whether this rotary revival will actually disrupt the EV wave, or simply offer another path in a world increasingly defined by batteries. To understand why Mazda's announcement matters, it's important to look back at the history of the rotary engine. Unlike conventional piston engines that use up and down motion, the rotary, also known as the Wankel engine, uses a triangular rotor that spins inside an oval chamber. This clever design delivers smooth, continuous power with far fewer moving parts. Mazda became the torchbearer for rotary technology, refining it through decades of innovation and motorsport. By the 1970s and 80s, Mazda had turned the rotary engine into a global icon. The Mazda RX-7, in particular, became legendary. Known for its lightweight build, sharp handling, and high revving engine that produced an unforgettable jet-like sound. Later, the RX-8 carried on the legacy, delivering a driving experience no piston engine could quite match. For many enthusiasts, the rotary engine came to represent something pure, small, light, and capable of tremendous performance relative to its size. But it wasn't perfect. Poor fuel efficiency, high emissions, and reliability concerns eventually forced Mazda to phase out the rotary after the RX-8. Yet the rotary engine never truly faded away. It lived on in car culture, especially in the tuning and racing scenes. RX-7s became cult classics, cherished by enthusiasts and prominently featured in online communities. The love for the rotary never died, and neither did Mazda's interest in it. In recent years, Mazda has quietly been working to bring the rotary back, this time in a more sustainable and modern form. In 2023, they launched the MX-30 REV, an electric crossover with a twist. It featured a rotary engine not to drive the wheels, but as a range extender, a compact generator that recharges the battery when needed. This marked the beginning of Mazda's reimagining of the rotary as part of a hybrid system. Now, they've taken it further. Mazda has developed a next-generation rotary engine that not only addresses the flaws of the past, but also positions itself as a true challenger to fully electric vehicles. So, what's different this time? Thanks to modern engineering, the new rotary engine features direct fuel injection, advanced cooling systems, and improved sealing technology, all of which fix many of the issues that plagued earlier versions. It's lighter and smaller than traditional piston engines, making it ideal for hybrid applications. It can run on gasoline, but it's also compatible with biofuels and synthetic fuels. A big advantage as the industry looks toward carbon neutrality. Most importantly, the new rotary is far more efficient. While the old versions were criticized for guzzling fuel, this one delivers cleaner performance with significantly reduced emissions. Mazda believes that by blending its legacy with new technology, the rotary engine has found its place again. Meanwhile, the EV industry, though growing fast, is facing its own challenges. Battery costs remain high, which keeps many EVS out of reach for average buyers. Charging infrastructure, though expanding, still lags behind, especially in rural or developing areas. Range anxiety continues to be a major concern, and even with fast charging, the wait is still far longer than simply filling up a gas tank. 
There are also concerns around long-term battery degradation, which hurts resale value and adds uncertainty to EV ownership. These growing pains are creating space for alternative approaches. And that's where Mazda's rotary strategy steps in. By pairing the rotary engine with hybrid and range extender systems, Mazda offers drivers a way around these limitations. Unlike pure EVS, cars with a rotary generator don't rely on charging stations. That makes them ideal for regions with poor infrastructure, giving buyers the benefits of electrification without the fear of being stranded. Mazda is using this opportunity to differentiate itself from EV giants like Tesla and BYD. While those companies focus on battery-only platforms and futuristic ecosystems, Mazda presents a more practical, driver-focused alternative. One that blends performance, flexibility, and emotional appeal. And that emotional appeal matters. One of the biggest criticisms of EVS is that they feel sterile. They're smooth and quiet, but often lack the personality and excitement that gearheads love. Mazda believes the rotary engine brings back that missing soul. Its unique sound, compact performance, and racing heritage offer something that electric motors can't replicate. For fans who grew up idolizing the RX-7 or RX-8, the rotary engine's return isn't just a throwback, it's a revival of passion. But this time, it's cleaner, smarter, and more efficient. Mazda's goal is to blend tradition with innovation, and if they pull it off, the ripple effects could be huge. Other automakers like Toyota, Honda, and Nissan, all of whom have explored hybrids and alternative fuels, may take a fresh look at combustion innovation. Even European brands like BMW and Audi, currently focused on luxury EVs, might be tempted to reconsider their strategies if the market shifts. Mazda isn't trying to kill the EV revolution. Instead, they're offering a new path forward, one that keeps the spirit of driving alive while adapting to the realities of a changing world. Even Tesla could start to feel some indirect pressure. Elon Musk has often dismissed technologies like rotary engines and solid-state systems as distractions. But the electric vehicle market is driven by constant innovation. If Mazda manages to prove that its rotary hybrid system is more affordable, more practical, and offers a deeper emotional connection for drivers, Tesla may be forced to step up its game and accelerate its own innovations. For consumers, Mazda's rotary comeback means something powerful more choice. Until now, the mainstream narrative has largely been that electric vehicles are the only future. Mazda challenges that idea, offering a balanced alternative, one where drivers can embrace sustainability without giving up convenience or the emotional thrill of driving. In places where charging infrastructure is still underdeveloped, Mazda's approach might even be more realistic than going fully electric. By making its new rotary engine compatible with future fuels like biofuels and synthetics, Mazda positions itself as a long-term contender in an unpredictable energy landscape. But this move isn't without risks. Scaling up production, meeting strict global emissions regulations, and competing against well-funded EV giants won't be easy. Still, Mazda has never been one to follow the crowd. It's a brand that has always thrived on standing out through creativity and bold engineering. Unlike larger manufacturers that rely on scale and volume, Mazda focuses on innovation and uniqueness. The rotary engine is a perfect reflection of that philosophy, unconventional, daring, and capable of catching the industry off guard. By doubling down on one of its most iconic technologies, Mazda is using differentiation as a strategy for survival and relevance in a fast-changing market. Ultimately, the rotary engine's return is more than a technical achievement. It's a message. It says the future of the auto industry doesn't have to follow a single path. Yes, EVs will dominate in many markets, but that doesn't mean there isn't room for other technologies to thrive. Mazda isn't trying to take down Tesla. It's reminding the world that innovation doesn't only move in one direction. Once thought to be a relic of the past, the rotary engine is back not as a nostalgic throwback, but as a challenger for the future. For drivers and enthusiasts, that means the next generation of cars won't all look and feel the same. Some will glide silently on electric power with high-tech features, while others will deliver a spirited roar from rotary engines paired with advanced hybrid systems. 
In the end, it's not conformity, but choice that will shape the automotive market. Mazda's bold gamble may or may not change the industry's direction, but one thing is certain, it has reignited a conversation many believed was already over. And in a world racing toward an electric future, the rotary engine's return proves there's still room for surprises. Mazda seems more than ready to deliver them.